Number one, you can isolate the vocals in any song. I mean, completely remove the instruments. Easy to do. Let's say you've got a Taylor Swift song like this one. Sounds great. If you want to just hear the vocals only, you make sure the clip is highlighted in the timeline. You select audio, basic, and you scroll down to vocal isolation. Is that amazing or what? And that's because I had keep vocal selected. But what if you wanted to like karaoke a Taylor Swift song and you wanted Taylor's voice to be gone? All you do is you click remove vocal and it'll just start playing right away. Ready? It's cool, that's what I tell them, no rules, in breakable heaven, but ooh, whoa. Okay, some people probably shouldn't sing karaoke, but you can do that. Number two, what if you don't want to be on camera, but you want some artificial intelligence that looks like a person to be your on-camera talent? Super easy to do. You just jump in here into text, click on default, drag it down to the timeline, jump up here under text basic and type in your text. Got some stuff ready. I'm gonna turn it into paragraphs by clicking and hitting the return key on my keyboard so you can see everything at once. And then you just select AI characters. And if it's your first time using the AI characters, it'll take them a second to upload. Then you scroll down and find one you like. Got a lot to choose from, guys and girls. Oh, she's cute. Let's click on her. Hey, good to see you. And that gives you a little sample. If that's who you want to use, you just click add and then you wait. And it may take a second for her to figure out how to say what you want her to say. Now we've got this text generated. I can see that I have her speaking down here. I don't need this text anymore. So I'm going to move it over here for something later. And she's on a black background. We can modify her a little bit. You just click on her and drag her up. There's a bunch of other options you can mess with. And we can go ahead and put her on a background. If you jump over here into media and select library and you type in inside a house, for example, you can find a nice background. That looks kind of cool, right? So I'm gonna just click this download button. Looks good enough. I'm just gonna drag it under Esther here. Wow, now she's on a background. Now you'll notice that the background doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna scale it up a little by clicking here and dragging it up. And there's Esther inside my house. I'm gonna move her over here right in front of the window. And let's see how she sounds. I'll say anything you want, you fuzzy little man peach. Number three, insanely good built-in text animations that would be super hard to do or impossible in something like Premiere Pro without some additional plugins. Look at this. You just highlight the text, select text, animation, and we have in, out, and loop. In brings text onto the screen like this. Bam, makes it appear. Out helps it leave the screen. You just click to try one and that's how it would leave the screen. And loop, click on loop, and then you just click on the one you want to try out. It lets you do all, all kinds of cool stuff like, let's try this gradient. That's fancy. Jiggly wobble how about drift up that's pretty cool number four what if you want to put the text behind you let's go ahead and grab me right here throw some text on top i'm going to make it as long as i'm speaking and we'll just kind of leave what we've got going on here but it's in front of me and it's a big mess and how cool would it be if it just like fluttered up behind me well all you gotta do is duplicate this layer of me i can hold down the option key on a mac the alt key on a pc and click and drag it up to duplicate that layer like magic and i'm going to take this text layer and just drag it beneath here and i'm going to line these up so they kind of fit nearly perfectly i can't see me yet in other programs this would be super hard to do like premiere this would be a freaking pain to remove me then i just click on this top layer right here and I select video cutout and I scroll down to auto cutout. Notice that it says only human figures can be cut out, but maybe someday in the future that will change. Right now it's only human figures. I click on auto cutout. I wait a second for it to process and then go to the beginning here, deselect me because this white box around me is annoying. I'm going to deselect me by clicking just here above it in the timeline and what? All that text is magically going up behind me. That's insane. Do you know how hard that would be to do in other programs? You can do this in a matter of seconds. Number five, tracking. And tracking has gotten better since I last tried it. So here's a clip of me. I'm intentionally moving around a whole bunch so that CapCut has something to track. And I can have CapCut track anything. If I want to have some text or graphic near me, it can, it can follow me. This is how. Now notice that when I click on this clip of me, the option to track isn't here. I need to put something above it. So I'm going to jump in here into... Stickers, I'm gonna type in, I don't know, subscribe. That's something that a lot of us YouTubers want. There's kind of a cool little subscribe thing. I'm gonna grab it. I'm going to make it last the duration of my clip right here. And you'll notice that now that I have this graphic above me and selected, tracking appears. So I'm gonna click on tracking and I'm gonna just scale this so it's the right size. Something like this right there would probably work. I'm gonna position my 
head in one of these more extreme positions so it knows I want to track my head and it has kind of a good starting reference point. Then I just select motion track. I want to track both directions and this box, I just put it over my face so it knows what the heck I'm tracking and I'll give it this bounding box to kind of find me pretty easily. And then I'll select direction both. It'll track it back and forth. And scale allows the object to get bigger and smaller if my head gets closer or farther away. And distance follows the tracking object. So I'm gonna just hit start and watch this. It's gonna do its thing. It's trying to follow my face. It's not perfect, but dude, check this out. And you notice that it kind of rescaled the box because my whole body was moving. And let's see how it did. What? <laughs> That's that's pretty insane. To manually do that with keyframes would take forever. This is nuts. Numero seis. What if you want it to feel like there's somebody there with you and there's a camera tracking you? Well, CapCut can do that too. I'm gonna click on this clip of me. It's the same clip of me. I'm gonna jump into Video Basic and I'm gonna scroll down to camera tracking right here. It can track my face, my body, or my hand. It gives you some options that you can mess with. I can have it be kind of shaky or kind of not shaky. So I'm just gonna turn the shake down. I can have it fit to the canvas because you can see already that when it's not fit to canvas, it just blurs it out and it looks like, you know, stuff's off screen. It's not great. So we're just going to select fit to canvas and it'll automatically zoom in a whole bunch. And we've got some other options we're not going to worry about now, but watch this. It's already tracked me. So I'm going to unhighlight this by clicking somewhere here above it. Move my play to the beginning so you can watch it and see how it does keeping me sort of in the middle of the frame. I'm going to make it full screen. Dude, <laughs> that's... That's really cool. It's like there's a camera actually following me around. Number seven. I'm swallowing my pride for this one because I cannot dance, but I'm gonna dance for you just, just for a second so you can see how this works. It's a feature called AI Movement, and it's another tracking feature which keeps you in the middle of the frame for dancing and more kind of extreme stuff than that other camera tracking thing. It's super cool. Watch this. Here's a clip of me trying to dance. It's it is not pretty. And I've got some Taylor Swift below me, of course, because Taylor Swift. And all you do is you click on this clip of me and I go to Video Basic and I go down to AI Movement. This is a pro feature, but dude, it, it's worth it. I click on AI Movement and I select Dynamic. That's going to be the fun one. And it gives you a bunch of options once it's done processing it. Here's scale, rotation, distance. You can mess with those. But just with the default settings, it looks like this with Taylor and me jamming together at last. You ready? What? You gotta try this. This is too much fun. Number eight, did the camera add 10 pounds or maybe you just had too many Twinkies before the shoot? Cap gets got you covered. Just select the clip of you that you want to enhance. Go to video enhance and you can fix your face. I'm sure your face doesn't need fixing. Mine often does. Or let's go down to uh, facial beauty. No, 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 no. We'll just go down to body for this one. Just, just kind of for fun. So we're going to click on body and oh, what if I want straighter shoulders? I can uh, make my shoulders a little bigger. I can widen my shoulders naturally. Arms, well, they think you want to get skinnier. I want mine to be, I want mine to be bigger. So you can mess with all these things and you can make your body a little skinnier like that. Change your waist. I don't know if you can find my waist. Yeah, it's finding my waist. And what if my head's too big or too small? I can adjust it. You know, you can kind of mess with these things to see. And here's the thing. When you do this, it messes up the background too, but it's kind of fun. And if you have a plain background, like if you're shooting against a white wall or a green screen, it, it works pretty cool. But here, it looked, Look kind of funny because I want to extreme on these things, but I just want you to see this. I'm going to deselect it, make it full screen for you, and you can see the, the background wobbling and stuff, but still, man, that's, that's a pretty cool feature. Number nine, you're on TikTok, you're on YouTube, and everybody's got these cool captions that are animated and colors and all this stuff, and you think, okay, I know how to add text now, and I can type one text at a time. But what if you just automatically add insanely cool captions? You can. Let's jump over to that same clip of me with my enhanced shoulders and natural enhanced beauty. And let's say we want to add captions. You just click on text. You scroll on auto captions and you choose your language. I have no idea why mine is defaulting to Chinese because my Chinese isn't great. I do know a little bit. If anyone speaks Chinese, let me know if I said this right. That means you speak Chinese, I think. So I'm gonna choose English because my English is considerably better and I spoke English here and I'm just gonna hit create. Watch this. You can see that it added captions for me right here. And if we zoom out by hitting shift Z to see the entire timeline, we can see that it tried to add captions for the whole thing when it heard words. You can click and modify them by selecting a caption and clicking captions up here on the top left. And we can see if got everything correct. 
And I can scroll through here and go, yeah, it looks like that's all right, which is cool. It's done. It did everything and it did it correctly. So it's fine like this, but what if you want it to be fancy like all those cool ones you see on TikTok? Super easy. You simply select text, you select templates, and scroll down here to captions and you have these really cool, awesome captions. You can test them by clicking on them. Some of them are pro, some of them are free. Here's one I really like, watch this. We're gonna just select it and try it. Here's another secret. Most fancy looking animated graphics mostly consist of cutting stuff out and moving it. What? what? Looks great, maybe it's kind of small. So we just wanna select one of them and make sure that apply to all is selected and it's selected by default. And then we're gonna select basic and just scale it up a tiny bit, maybe eight or so. And it looks like this now. It consists of cutting stuff out. And what if you don't like the green? Well, make sure you got some green up there so you can see what the color's gonna change. So you just click on this green right here under text basic. And we probably want, you know, pink because pink's dope. There's some pink. And now it looks like this. It consists of cutting stuff out. Dude in like 30 seconds, you can have insanely cool looking animated captions. Number 10, so we already fixed the body, but what if you're having a bad skin day? Can CapCut help you with that too? Yeah. So we're gonna highlight this text, delete it, and I'm just gonna zoom in on my face where my eyes are open, just by clicking the slider here and dragging it up a little bit. And I'm gonna drag me down just so you can see my face. And you know, it's not a horrific skin day, but it could be better. So I'm just going to select Video Basic, and I'm gonna scroll down to Image Enhancement, which is right here. Before I do, bear in mind that it is going to upload this video to the server and then redownload. It's gonna take a second. Because I've already done it, it'll be instant. But when you do it, it might take a minute, especially if it's a really long video, and it'll ask your permission, but watch this. Here's me before Image Enhancement. Here is after, before, after, before after. You can make money with YouTube, whether it's to promote your widgets, sell houses, or grow to the point you're making money with AdSense. But you gotta learn to edit first, man. The fastest way to learn to edit is to get good and comfortable on CapCut. It is the best editing program for beginners, has insane and easy effects built in, and you can learn it in like two days with my course, Master CapCut. I'll tell you how to get people to watch your videos. I'm guessing no one's watching your videos right now, am I right? So stop screwing around and take that step to start actually making money with video. Click right here or hit the link in the description. There's like no risk, dude. If you hate it, just say, I hate you, Trevor. And I'll just give you all your money back. Trevor. Don't say it, Kevin.